It's the hot issue for the candidates this week, how to handle the economy. Both John McCain and Barack Obama outlining their plans and exchanging blows. So what's in store for economic talks? Uh, former presidential candidate and McCain supporter Mitt Romney joins us from Boston right now. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning, Steve. All right. Uh, remember, you know, there's been a lot made of the fact that uh, out on the stump a number of months ago, John McCain said something about how, you know, the economy is not his strong suit. And, and people are looking in because the economy is something we're all worried about. Are you confident he knows enough to run the country? Well, I think I think John McCain has, uh, with 25 years in the Senate, been through some ups and downs in the economy. He understands which things uh, build the economy, which things uh, cause, cause it to retract. Uh, he's got a great deal more experience and leadership when it comes to the economy than someone like uh, Barack Obama, who hasn't been through those uh, those decision points over the last uh, 25 years. And he's laid out a plan to get our economy going again, and it includes at the top of the list finally becoming energy independent. And that's something, of course, Barack Obama, because of his need to adhere to the desires of the extreme environmentalists in his party, he just can't do. Hey, Governor, John McCain in the past couple of weeks has said that by 2013, at the end of his first term, he will balance the budget, keep both Bush tax cuts in place, make them permanent, and double the standard deduction of $3,500 uh, for parents with uh, children. How could he possibly do all that? Well, first, I gotta, I've got to underscore the fact that, that right now, given how much families in America are hurting, you've got to lower taxes on middle-income families. And, and you also got to keep our tax burden down on small business to make sure that we don't kill jobs. We've got to create jobs. And the best way to balance our budget is by cutting unnecessary spending, also reforming entitlements to make sure we don't uh, have growth way out of line with, uh, with our ability to pay. And, of course, we have to see, see a fast-growing economy again. And, uh, and that's something that Senator McCain is counting on by the end of his first term, that we'll have the kind of economic growth that, combined with uh, reigning in federal spending, will be able to balance the budget. Governor, you have to admit that uh, you do know the economy. You've uh, run very successful businesses. You've personally become successful. So it kind of helps you, in a way, as far as being his running mate, that maybe he needs somebody like you now that we're in the dire straits that we appear to be with the economy. Now, earlier in the show, I said I'd give Steve a high five if he got you to say anything mm -hmm. about being the VP candidate. So can I give him a high five? <laughs> Sorry, Gretchen. Oh. Uh, I, I, I've got... Uh... I've got no, no speculation on the VP front uh, for me. Uh, Senator McCain has a lot of great people sure. to choose from. He'll, he'll be making his choice down the road. I wouldn't be betting on me. Uh, uh, he's got a lot of good folks. Well, how about this, Governor? Uh, there's, there was a story, I think it was on the Washington Post, uh, the Fix blog yesterday, that said that uh, the senator's uh, already vetting a number of people, including Tim Pawlenty and you. Can you tell us? Well, you could tell us if you were being vetted because you'd know because you'd have to take over a bunch of shoe boxes full of receipts, right? <laughs> uh, you know, I, I think I've been pretty well vetted by uh, by the American media over the past uh, what year and a half or so that I've been involved in national politics. So uh, I, I don't know whether the McCain people are vetting me or not, uh, but I, but I can tell you that that there's a long list of people who they could vet, who could be potential VPs. Uh, I think he'll make a choice of an individual who could could fill in if it were necessary at a critical time. Hey, Governor, what did you think of uh, Bill Clinton's? swipe, veiled swipe, because he didn't mention him by name, but he talked about POW at John McCain yesterday, saying, you know, these POWs, they have repressed memories, and those things can pop out every once in a while. Uh, Judge, I thought that was a new low for Bill Clinton. Uh, he's made a number of errors during this uh, this last year, during the campaign, uh, where he supported his wife, and I'm sure he'd acknowledge that. Uh, but this one was a new low. Uh, I thought it was uh, totally inappropriate and uncalled for. I think it's going to hurt him. I think the effort on the part of the Obama supporters to somehow try and, and denigrate the, the military record of John McCain is, um, is disgusting. Uh, I think it's going to backfire. I think you'll see veterans uh, rally around Senator McCain. Uh, look, he's not only a person who's served his military and been a leader in the military, he is an American hero. And any effort to detract from that, I think, is going to be uh, uh, responded to with a very vehement uh, rejection. All right. Uh, Governor Mitt Romney joining us live from Boston. Thank you, sir, for dropping in. Always a pleasure. Thanks, Steve. Good to be with you guys. All right. Au revoir. All right.